These pictures show scientific workers in a British Commonwealth laboratory producing the wonder drug penicillin. There have been many advances in medicine that have transformed the way we live, but one of the most significant was the discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming in 1928 that led to the development of antibiotics. They went on to save millions of lives just decades later, and still do today. The pre-antibiotic era was an era where a simple cough, a simple urinary tract infection, or a simple cut led to death. When we started the use of antibiotics back in the 1940s, one has to remember they were truly a wonder drug. They were incredibly effective. Antibiotics are a cornerstone of modern medicine, and if they were to disappear, the results could be catastrophic. In fact, some germs are already resistant to drugs, causing 1.5 million deaths a year. It's antimicrobial resistance, you can't see it, you can't feel it, um, but nonetheless, it's increasing year on year. Even Fleming predicted, when he accepted his Nobel Prize, that there would inevitably be the rise of resistance. He was right. As germs multiply, they evolve, and over time, rare mutations can cause the DNA of the microbe to become resistant to antibiotics. They develop mechanisms to stop drugs, including changing their cells, to remove the drug's target, producing enzymes to break them down, and also restricting access for them by limiting their entry points. Sadly, the model of how we develop antibiotics has broken. That is the reason why we don't have new antibiotics in the pipeline, because the pharmaceutical industry doesn't necessarily, I'm afraid, have the financial incentive to develop these drugs, because the financial rewards have diminished. To combat this lack of funding, INEOS have donated £100 million to Oxford University to create the INEOS Oxford Institute for Antimicrobial Research. The antimicrobial resistance is one of these um, hidden dangers for the human race. I don't think it's widely recognised yet. You've got that history here, probably the best medical research you can find worldwide. One of the exciting parts of this collaboration with a very successful business is that we hope that they will help us translate this primary research for human benefit. This institute will be based in the new Life and Mind building at Oxford, bringing together a number of research departments. It will establish Oxford as a leader in antimicrobial resistance. It will allow us to have a programme to design novel drugs for human medicine. It will allow us to design novel drugs in animals, because at the moment we've got this ridiculous situation where we're using human antibiotics as animal growth promoters. And essentially, we also want to have some voice on policy. Penicillin was first turned into a workable medicine right here in Oxford. So it seems entirely fitting that we should again be at the vanguard of studying antimicrobial resistance. It doesn't get much worthier than, uh, than helping save the human race, really, does it? You know, a pretty worthy cause, and uh, off we go.